Belgium. Does uh, does your dad critique your your rides and, and all him? that stuff? Want to ask him? <laughs> sure. Dad, it was. It was awesome. how was my ride? He rode absolutely perfect. <laughs> and the horse ran out of training at the gate pole, so he's blaming me. So the horse is okay as long as he rides my horse back. <laughs> Just talk a little bit about what it was like kind of growing up. Uh, your dad was a very accomplished rider as well. And uh, just talk about that as, as you're kind of growing and getting older and, and kind of being around the r races from such a young age. Yeah, so uh, my father raced in New York uh, for over 20 years through the 1980s to early 2000s. Uh, won over 3,000 races and some uh, plenty of stake races, grade ones, and uh, very successful. So growing up with him, uh, we had the Aqueduct Belmont Circuit and Saratoga most of the time. And I would go to the racetracks, watch him ride, and, and just have fun out there. But uh, I didn't really have a lot of interest early on. I was just being a kid in my childhood and uh, just, uh, just going through school and, and never had much interest of being a jockey. So uh, I just, that determined uh, later on when I was in the senior year of high school that I wanted to do what my father did and uh, he was 100% behind my back. So it sounds like there, there wasn't a ton of pressure on you then to, <laughs> to be a jockey or be involved in, in racing at all. Now, yeah, so uh, dad was, a, he's a great father for us. Uh, he uh, always wanted the best for us, and so was my mother. Uh, they just wanted, they were 100% behind us, what we wanted to do, and for whatever sport we were uh, focused on. I was, I was focused on motocross and dirt bike racing and all that, and wrestling and all these other things. And uh, it, I it determined that uh, it was very difficult to become professional in motocross racing. So my next best, my, my next best thing was to become a jockey because my father was. Brother-in-law, family together. <laughs> you don't see it very often, a, a family of three riding brothers and sisters. Uh, so I have two sisters that are riding currently at Aqueduct with me, Jacqueline Davis and Katie Davis. And sometimes we match up in races uh, where we're all in together. Uh, also, my sister's married to Trevor McCarthy, so it's another brother-in-law to add to the family. So sometimes we have four of us in a race all together, and it gets very competitive. We know, we all know that we are riding our best out there and uh, trying to do the best for our trainers and owners. And uh, at the same time, I want to be my sisters or my brother-in-law just as much as everybody else out there but it's fair competition and we're enjoying it you know we want to beat each other but at the same time we come back home we're having thanksgiving dinner or we're having dinner back at the house and enjoying us as a family well if we were to have any conflicts uh we have many officials that are always overwatching our rides and uh maybe would uh, say suspicion but uh, we're not. I was great. I was raised like as my father to do our best out there and 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 ride the hardest for our trainer and owner. That's our team, our outfit, and always putting our best efforts. So I think it's uh, the other way around, where because my sisters are in the race or my brother-in-law is in there, I want to beat them so bad that it, I don't even want to finish last. If I if fighting for last place, I want to beat them to not finish last. <laughs> Now that you've been been doing it for uh, several years, you, you feel like there's uh, you know, a, a bit of competition there now, like trying to kind of surpass some of your your father's accomplishments, or <laughs> you feel like you're you're kind of on your own journey here. Yeah, I feel, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, I feel like I'm on my own journey. There's uh, people that would say that that I'm better than my father, but I don't like to think that. I always think of my father as, as a great mentor. And if I get there to beat his accomplishments, then that's great. But I'm, I'm kind of doing it in my own way and, and, uh, and to see what I can do.